Devil H standing here trackside, live from Thrill of the Spill. And one of the thrills today has been Ohio's performance against Windy City in this first half. I am standing here with Amy Spears' family, Amy Spears' mom, Cheryl, and her grandfather, Tom. How proud are you of your daughter in this first half? I'm very proud of her. I never thought she'd do this, but it's been seven years and we've enjoyed every minute of it. So seven years, she's one of the founding members of Ohio. Yeah. What did she, what did you think? What went through your head when your daughter said, mom, I have this great new hobby. It's called roller derby. Uh, we weren't real excited about it. And we went to the first bout and we've been hooked ever since. Now, grandfather Tom, how many roller derby bouts have you been to, do you think? We've been to quite a few since Sammy started roller skating. Uh, I met my wife at the roller rink in the 40s. How about that? It's a roller derby love story, a roller love story. Now, I noticed, Tom, that you're wearing some very important uh, wardrobe choices here. Tell me a little bit about the Ohio fan wardrobe. Well, you've seen it. We have it on right tonight. <laughs> There's quite a bit of uh, green and white going on, and the hats are really nice. Show off the hat a little bit. Well, uh, my, uh, Cheryl's twin sister made the hats, and uh, so we just decided if we was going to come, we were going to dress for the occasion. Absolutely, and your daughter's team has had some big changes in the last year. How have you felt seeing this, a team, uh, this team evolve over, th over this last season, coming from last season, where they weren't quite doing as well as they are now? Well, I, I think they're a good group of women. They've worked together hard, and their hearts are in it, and I think it shows. Well, speaking of heart, Amy Spears' family have heart. Ohio fans have heart. And you have heart for watching WFTDA.TV. And we are getting ready for our first semifinal match of today at the WFTDA North Central Region Playoff. The thrill of the spell. Here in Niagara Falls, New York. Yes. Where the Windy City Roller All-Stars are going to take on the Ohio Roller Girls. Only the second time these two teams have met. The other time was that the very first East Coast Derby Extravaganza, I believe it was in 2000, it was 2007. Seven, yes. And uh, Windy City, of course, have still undefeated in the North yes. Central. Yes. It was victorious in that game. Uh, victorious yesterday as well, of course, against Bruce City, 315 to 76, which brings them to this point. Ohio narrowly defeating the arch rival Roller Girls in a great, you know, last 10 minutes of yes. Derby. Yes, a 10-point uh, win. Yeah, 10 points in that one, and you know. Uh, everybody, I think, is kind of happy to see Ohio at this point. Long struggling, becoming the Cinderella here, and uh, with a chance to go to the WFTDA championships in Atlanta. Yes. And uh, we'll see how it all pans out. Of course, Windy City the favorite in this one, but who knows what will happen. Penalties have played an issue in a lot of games. Yes, indeed. So uh, whoever keeps it cleaner, I think, is uh, got that the benefit. That is definitely a key, and Ohio is 21-1 and one on the year. They're, they've been playing, it's been a marathon of games. They've just been pounding out games. And they have a short bench here. Only 13 skaters yep. made the trip. So they're not changing out people for different games. It's 13 skaters. That's your roster each and every game. And Windy City has the full 20. They are, i got to do the math, I believe 26-0-1 in the North Central. That streak going back to 2007. Yes. They've never lost to any opponent that is in the North Central, as you see Old Dirty Gogo and Sergeant Tina getting fired up for this one as we are about ready to go in this first semifinal match of Thrill of the Spill. That's right, we're gonna get things going right away. Wearing white and green are, of course, the Ohio Roller Girls. They are gonna send out number 12, Kitty Liquorbottom, to start things off. She'll be going up against number 911, that's Cola Loca. Great big game yesterday for her. 85 points, stellar performance all around. And a great game all around from Ohio. Very, they've got to have a lot of fire coming into this one. The chance to be the Cinderella's trying to punch their ticket to their first national championship. And this is further than they've ever made it before. First time in the semis with a chance to take home the thrill of the spill championship title. Windy City going to start things off on a knee, and away we go. And we are underway here, scrum jockeying start here. Kololoka near the front, but she gets taken out near the front. Nice Still job. sticks with it. 
Oh, I was going to say, nice job by Pippi. Rip your stockings to get in front of Cola Loca. But she makes her way around, and she does pick up lead jammer for the Windy City Rollers. I see Phoenix Buns, number 23 of Ohio, near the front of the pack, trying to create a hole for her jammer. But here comes Cola Loca on a scoring pass now. Find some room on the outside. Drawing first blood is Windy City. Five to the sky for Cola Loca. Grand slam right there. And uh, those of you watching on the high def video stream seeing Ohio very focused on getting their jammer out. Did not even see Cola Loca coming. Caught him unawares. They have to pipe up their awareness. I'm sorry, so it's a mumbles. power jam. I, I interrupted you there. But f I think fourth mi four miners in the first jam on Kitty Liquor Bottom to get wow. this power jam going. Yeah. As we said, penalties have been playing a, a big, big part in this tournament thus far. Cola Loca, a little bit more difficulty getting through right now. Ohio able to focus on their defense. Here we see Cola Loca trying to get past the pack. Phoenix Bones in her way right now. That's a name we're going to say a lot for Ohio. Phoenix Bones. She was the MVP of the Midwest Brouhaha in Milwaukee this year. She was the MVP of the entire tournament. Yes, and she's definitely made a name for herself. She's been around for a few years, but this year really stood out and starting to shine. Ohio defense, good job shutting down Cola Loca right there into turn four, send her to the ground. She is back up and rolling. Finds her way around Pippi, rip your stockings, but some good recycling by Ohio. Keeps her slowed up just a little bit. She does break through and picks up five more points. Another grand slam for Cola Loca. And Kitty Lickerbottom comes out of the penalty box, gets right through the pack. So Cola Loca looking over her shoulder, and that's going to end the jam there. We went the full two minutes in that one. Windy City getting on top 10-0 to zero as we start things off. Varla Vendetta. Good thing they let that one time out because Varla Vendetta just had finished her time in the penalty box as a blocker. Both teams at full strength right now, and it's going to be Athena to crime wearing the star for the Windy City Rollers. And number 23 in the white and green, that is the aforementioned Phoenix Buns jamming for Ohio. Physical to start things off. Phoenix Buns getting some shots in on Athena to crime, making sure she's in front of her. But then the two walls form. Very it's tight pack start. out there. I think Phoenix a Buns, little bit of room right there. It's going to be a foot race. Nice offensive block. Helps her out. Lead Jammer, Ohio. And right on her tail is Athena to crime. We watch that pack reform as Konichiwa goes to the penalty box for Windy City in black. The pack moving a fairly slow pace. Phoenix Bunch just calls off the jam. I don't think, no, no points scored. And an illegal procedure. Never mind, we're gonna, that it was taken back at the end. Hanging Chad right there saying, nope, it was at the whistle. She had already committed to the hit. So even though the contact was made after the fourth whistle, it was not an illegal procedure major for contact after the whistle. Right now we stand 10 to nothing here early on in Windy City versus Ohio. We see Hellion Boy on the line, an original Ohio Roller Girl against Varla Vendetta, an original Windy City Roller. Both veteran jammers out there. Four on three right now in favor of Ohio, but Windy City sneaking through right there, picking up lead jammer Varla Vendetta. This Ohio working hard to get their jammer out. Nice offensive blocking right there, shifting to the outside. Two to beat, and oh, who's your mama? And Jackie Daniels not to be trifled with. Send Hellion Boy to the ground. Varla Vendetta on a scoring pass here now, trying to get past Lorraine Acid. Hellion Boy able to clear on her initial pass. Gogo trying to catch up to her, but she has to let her go outside the engagement zone. That's going to end the jam there. Five-point grand slam for Varla Vendetta, extending the lead 15-0. to 0, 25 minutes, 37 seconds in the first half. Let's thank Rydell Skates, the official skate of the WFTDA. Unmatched quality, unmatched performance. Check out RydellSkates.com. Thanks, Rydell. All right, Phoenix Buns back to the line in the white and green for the Ohio Roller Girls. And that is Scarface wearing zero eye oi for she the Wicked City Rollers. She did not play yesterday in their match against Bruce City. But Phoenix Buns gets through. She is your lead jammer for Ohio. The second time jamming, second time lead jammer for Phoenix Buns. Great job by Ohio's pack to open up that inside line. Let her sneak through. Making her way around the track right now. But watch out because Scarface is burning up pavement. Phoenix Buns gets sent to her knees. She picks up a pair, three points, and calls it off. 
So Ohio gets on the board. They get their first three points of the game thanks to Phoenix Buns as Pippi Rip Your Stockings, also an original Ohio Roller Girl. Ohio Roller Girls, one of the originating WFTDA leagues. This their first semifinal match in a playoff. She's going to be up against old number seven. It's Jackie Daniels, also an original, originally with Grand Rapids. Yes. Finding her way to Windy City a few years back. And, of course, into the hearts of millions. They, they do like her in Windy City as uh, Jackie Daniels gets through for lead jammer status. Able to muscle past Lorraine Acid as we look back at that pack. Pippi, rip your stockings. Trying to get past a formidable wall up front. Moby Nips out there, for, uh, the transfer from Milwaukee out there for Windy City. Jackie Daniels, nice move around Bratislava Bruiser, but no, she cut the track. That's going to be a major, and it's power jam time for the Ohio Roller Girls. The Pippi Rip Your Stockings on her initial pass, getting held up right now by Ruth and Asia and Old Dirty Gogo. Old Dirty Gogo with the shoulder brace. Moby Nips going to the penalty box for Windy City, so here's a chance for Pippi Rip Your Stockings. We'll see if Windy City scored any points before Jackie Daniels went to the penalty box. Look like she might have. We'll have to wait for that. Yep. Nice offensive blocking, opening up the inside again. But Varla Vendetta right there, and oh, way out in front, Old Dirty Gogo is going to get sent to the box for out of play engagement, and five points will go on the board for the Ohio Roller Girls. Only two blockers out there, known as a minivan jam. Two against five. The parents trying to hold off the five kids, and the kids are looking good right now. Pippi Rippier stockings. The crowd is going wild. Ohio has a large contingency here in Niagara Falls, cheering on their, their girls here. That's right, they're traveling well. And so is Pippi Rip Your Stockings, another grand slam. And we've got a lead change. Ohio now in the driver's seat, 18 to 15. But watch out, Jackie Daniels out of the box, right through the pack on a scoring pass. And four will go up. Windy City takes that lead right back. And then right again, Pippi Rip Your Stockings takes the lead again. Our third lead change of this jam. And here comes Jackie Daniels trying to do it again as she hits the pack, back block. Minor on Jackie Daniels. And no points go up on the board. The crowd is loud here in Niagara Falls, drowning out the sound of all that water. Oh, it's a flood of points in that one. And right now it's 22, Ohio 19, Windy City 22, 03 left in this first half. I could barely hear you there for a second, AK. We got Cola Loca on the line for Windy City. And, and she's up against Kitty Liquor Bottom, number 12, for Ohio in the white and green. Let's see, one blocker down for each team as we enter this gym. Windy City starting on a knee, has been their want to do this tournament. Does not pay off on lead, but she is out first. Minor back block is a call on Cola Loca. Lead still open, but big hit from the event, your maker, sending Kitty Licker bottom to the floor. So despite not having lead jammer status, Cola Loca is going to get a chance to score here as Sargentina goes to the penalty box for Windy City. I think it was a back block. Tenacious D from Bratislava Bruiser. Oh, and she is going to pick up a major on that one. Meanwhile, another five-point grand slam for Cola Loca. Another lead change here as Cola Loca now on a scoring pass, her second pass, scoring pass. And she's able to get through once again another five points. As a nice wall here by Windy City holding off Kitty Lickerbottom. Amy Spears going to the box. Another nice hit for her. I apologize. That was her earlier in that jam, not Bratislava Bruiser. But regardless, she's in the box right now with one of her cohorts. It's going to be two on three advantage. Windy City looking to Scarface to put some points up. She's going to be taking on number 365 in the white and green. That's the Smacktivist. Only two blockers out there now for Ohio. Scarface, we're looking at her as well as Smacktivist in the white and green. And here we go. Smacktivist first jam out there for Ohio. Scarface second jam did not score first time this time. Starting off solid, lead jammer Windy City. And a nice move by the Smacktivist able to get past Jackie Daniels. Not an easy feat. Ohio claims the front of the pack, gonna make it a little bit more difficult on Scarface, but Windy City picks up the pace as Scarface approaches. 
And Scott Face calls it off. I right, let's take a look at the score. Zero zero. Did nice. not get around that down skater legally. Would have picked up three for the two in the box, but didn't do it. And a zero zero result leaves us at 29 Windy City, 22 Ohio. And we got to give a shout out to Green Monster, makers of Antic, Gumball Toe Stops, Heartless Wheels, Reckless Wheels, and Moto Bearings. Green Monster doesn't just give you great derby products, they give you confidence. It's G R N M N S T R dot com. Green Monster. Green Monster. Ermagat. Hellion Boy versus Athena to Crime for Windy City. Wall against wall. Athena trying to get through. She does. The evil genius gets through for Windy City. Yeah, wall against wall was the case, but a two wall only for Ohio as they still have two of their blockers sitting in the sin bin. Athena to Crime, quick work of the distance back around to the pack. Gets in, gets slowed up a little bit, but now she's looking for some room around that front two wall. Old Dirty Go-Go going to the penalty box for Windy City. Oh, Phoenix buns right there, sending Athena to crime out and then getting knocked out herself by Sargentina. Athena finally makes it through. Five points go up. That's going to bring Windy City to 34 over Ohio at 22. Sargentina with a big jammer takeout on Hellion Boy. Hellion Boy a little slow to get up. Checks her, checks her cap, checks her goggles, gets back in it. Athena to crime, scoring some points. And Phoenix Buns going to the penalty box for Ohio. Hellion Boy, a lot of trouble getting through right there. She gets knocked down. Does draw a penalty, though, so Sargentina's off. And we have ourselves a star pass. Pippi, rip your stockings. Now the jammer for Ohio. Hellion Boy switching to defense, doing a good job. Holding back, Athena to crime gets a little help. Athena's going to call it off, but, yep, all those fingers are pointing outwards. She did pick them all up. Five-point grand slam for number 30. 18 minutes left to play in the first half here. 44 to 22 in favor of Windy City. A micro pack on the line. Two against two. Georgia on behind and Ruth and Asia, the blockers for Windy City. And Lorraine Acid and Pippi Rip Your Stockings, the blockers for Ohio. Kitty Lickerbottom lined up with the star for the Ohio Roller Girls in the white and green. Quick start again from Windy City. Cola Loca forced to the outside. Great job right there. Number 12 sl slides through. Pardon me, Kitty Lickerbottom. Lead jammer Ohio and a big takedown out of turn two since Cola Loca crashed into the floor. Cola Loca about a half track behind. Here comes Kitty Lickerbottom. Takes a shot from Ruth and Asia. Zero points. Nice block by Ruth and Asia. Absolutely got her hips back. Put the booty into her and sent her out of bounds. She did not pass the hips. So that one stands at 0-0. We'd like to thank Adam Wheels, a proud partner and official wheel of the WFTDA. Check them out at adamwheels.com. Thank you for joining us on WFTDA.tv. This is Ohio Roller Girls versus Windy City semifinal. I am AK40 out here with the one, the only, Bryant Mumble. We see Scarface versus the Smacktivist for Ohio. Only two blockers out there for Ohio right now. Three for Windy City. And nice job by Lorraine Acid and Pippi, Pippi Rip Your Stockings holding up Scarface. Another nice hit right there. Oh, did she draw the cut? She did indeed. So Scarface out first, not lead jammer though on account of that cut in the track. Great job by Lorraine Acid. You vet your maker with a nice block, slowing down the Smacktivist. And the pack stopped now. Here comes Scarface on a scoring pass, takes a shot from Pippi Rip Your Stockings. And major forearm, I think, on Pippi. Lead jammer called right there for Ohio. Call off, call off shouts from the crowd and the bench. Does not score, but stops Windy City from doing too much damage. Only one point goes up in that one. Right now, 45, Windy City, 22, Ohio, 15-50 left in the first half. We're seeing a lot of small packs out here. For Ohio, they only have two out there, Phoenix Bunn and Kilbasa. Kilbasa started her career in Cleveland. Been a member of Ohio for a few years now. No start, or no pack quick start real quick. Hellion Boy unable to score thus far in this game. Looking to change that up here. Tough wall of Windy City sends her down to the ground on the infield. Meanwhile, up in front, lead jammer, Athena to crime. The pack moving along at a pretty good pace right now, holding up Hellion Boy. Old Dirty Go-Go riding her towards the outside, but Hellion Boy able to stay in bounds and keep going forward, but she's still got that wall to contend with. Here comes Athena on a scoring pass. Great job by Phoenix Buns to pick up the trajectory of Athena to crime, send her out on the turn. 
Major out of play, penalty on Jackie Daniels of Windy City as Athena of the Crime gets through on her scoring pass. Five more points, wait, four more points for Windy City. As we pass the 15 minute mark of the first half, 49 to 22 in favor of the ladies in black and silver, Windy City. It's gonna be Smacktivist down in the star for the Ohio Roller Girls wearing white and green. And she is up against Cola Loca so far in this bout. Cola Loca, 20 points, leading scorer for the Windy City Rollers. We'd like to thank Printco for your league's printing and promotional needs. Hit up printcographics.com. Smacktivist yet to get on the scoreboard. Nice move right there, another good juke, but oh, she can't fake her out. She'll send her to the ground though, and that's Lead Jammer, Ohio. Smacktivist with Lead Jammer. Gotta give credit to Phoenix Buns with some nice block and holding up Cola Loca. As Lorraine Acid rejoins the pack and Pippi Rip Your Stockings for Ohio. Now they have a full contingency of blockers out there. Nice knockout move in the back. Cola Loca being held back right there, and watch out, because Smacktivist comes in, starts scoring points. She's got one to beat, and Sargentina gets down and around her, and that is gonna be a five-point grand slam for the Smacktivist. Ohio with a little something going here. Nice pack play, holding up Cola Loca, not an easy feat. Another good force out right there by Phoenix Buns. With that your maker there to knock her out of the way, though, and Windy City breaks their jammer free. Smacktivist in for another scoring pass, and here comes Windy City charging out of the box, back to full strength. Smacktivist is gonna call it off, picks up three before it's all over. No more points for Windy City, and uncharacteristically, Windy City the first to call a timeout right now. Stand at 49, Windy City, 30 Ohio, 13-14 on the scoreboard. Multi-pass jam there for Ohio, getting eight points on the board. We'll see if they can build on that. Trying to take down Windy City, trying to be the first team ever in the North Central to beat Windy City. A daunting task for this possible Cinderella story, the Ohio Roller Girls. And I tell you what, it doesn't get more magical if you're a Cinderella story right. than beating the unbeaten team, especially Ohio for a long time struggling, staying in that bottom part of the top 10, not making it. You know, they've always, they were down last year and they've just been rebuilding last year, putting all that work in on the road this year. 21 games coming into this tournament. They are determined, and right now they're looking really solid down only by 19 over halfway through the first half mumbles. It's been the same core of skaters for Ohio. They, they haven't had a lot of new skaters. It's the same core. You see some of them out there. Amy Spears, an original Ohio roller girl. You got Phoenix Buns, been playing a really long time. Pippi Rip Your Stockings, an original Ohio roller girl, and Kitty Lickerbottom out there as well as 1993 Bratislava Bruiser blocking right now. No start, no pack start, pardon me, from the Ohio Roller Girls. Kitty Lickerbottom up against Athena DeCrime. Athena DeCrime held up on the inside. Kitty looking for some room right now. Nice offensive blocking, but not easy to get past Varla Vendetta. She pulls it off, though. Great job by Phoenix Buns. Not lead jammer, though. Code Adams says she cut the track, so it's going to be open for Windy City. Athena DeCrime gets ridden out of bounds by... I'm, wait, there's a major forearm on Phoenix Buns. That allows Athena DeCrime to get through. She had a no pass, no point, but she is clear for her scoring pass if she can get around. But Kitty Lickerbottom trying to get past the four wall at the front of Windy City. Windy City claiming the entire front of the pack. Ohio trying to isolate on Varla Vendetta. Good job, picked her up as... Athena approached the pack, being held in the back right now. Kitty Lickerbottom not calling off the jam. Athena DeCrime is on a scoring pass, but Amy Spears is sitting on her. Oh, we don't have any lead jammer in this jam. That's I'm right, sorry. we're gonna go 120 seconds right now. Four points go up on the board for Kitty Lickerbottom. Meanwhile, in the pack, Athena having some trouble getting past that uh, very active Ohio Roller Girls defense. Nice hit right there. Coming across the track is Pippi Ripperstocking sending Athena back and out. Here comes Kitty Lickerbottom, able to get through Ohio, winning this jam, narrowing the gap. That's two scoring passes for Ohio, one scoring pass for Windy City. Nine to four so far in this one. Still got 18, 17, 16 left in this jam. Both jammers within striking distance. They got the speed to do it. Windy City controlling the front of the pack. Pippi Rip Your Stocking trying to create a hole for a Kitty Lickerbottom. 
Amy Spears, nice shoulder check right there, but oh, Kitty Lickerbottom meets the nasty end of the Windy City defense, gets stood up and sat down right there. No points on that pass. Who's your mama with a nice shot there on Kitty Lickerbottom? Only a 14 point game. Ohio closes the gap a little bit. 53 to 39 in favor of Windy City. Just under 11 minutes in the first half. Ska face for Windy City in this one against the Smacktivist, who's been playing really well so far. Absolutely. We're looking at a three on three. Windy City about to get one of their blockers back. She's standing in the box. Quick start from Ohio, and Ska face almost sneaks through. Ohio's pivot right there to jump on top of her. She's pushing it though, pushing it. Sends her down in the turn. She was out of play though. That's gonna be a major and lead jammer for the Windy City Rollers. But Scafe still in the pack, but now able to get through. And great. right behind her is the Smacktivist. It was a great effort there from number 5150. Pippi Rip Your Stockings just held it a little too long. You gotta let him go before you get to 20. The That's smack, a smart penalty though. The Smacktivist with more speed than Scafe. Scafe calls off the jam after passing one. She'll get two points. I believe one of those a ghost point. Yes, I indeed. believe. You are correct, sir. So that was Pippi Rip Your Stockings in the box, so she got the point for her as well. Right now, looking at a great, great matchup. We've got Phoenix, Buns, wearing white and green for Ohio. And in the black and silver for Windy City, it's Cola Loca. Still a pack advantage for Windy City. Three to four in favor of Windy City in the pack. They've had a lot of pack advantages here in this match so far. Phoenix Buns playing defense right off the whistle in that scrum on Cola Loca. She gets around her, still fighting her way out. Ohio doing their best. They got that tough two wall up front. Oh, she gets knocked down. Huge hit, retaliation. Sends the blocker to the floor, but a lot of space opened up for Ohio. Almost sneaking through. Moby Nips out there with Bork, Bork, Bork. Phoenix Buns going up against the Swedish chef of pain. Sneaks around her. Lead jammer, Ohio Roller Girls. And the crowd definitely be Ohio, behind Ohio right Right now, Cola Loca up just under, just over a third of a track behind Phoenix Buns. Phoenix Buns going to get a quick crack at the pack. She's got lots of room on the inside. Stellar work right there for Ohio. Bla Bratislava Bruiser saw her coming, opened up the inside line for her jammer. She jumps on through a little style point extra on that one, and they get back on the scoreboard. 43 for Ohio, 55 Windy City, 836 left in the time clock for the first half. We got to thank Iron Doll Clothing, one of a kind uniforms for the modern roller girl. Get your perfect roller derby uniforms in four easy steps at Iron Doll Clothing. Com. Scarface versus Hellion Boy. Another good matchup. Hellion Hell Boy's got the experience on Scarface, but Scarface does have the advantage of that Windy City pack at full strength right now. Four on three in favor of WCR. Nice block right there. Opens up a hole and Scarface skanking out to lead jammer. And we're seeing Yvette, your maker, going to the penalty box for Whitney City in black. Scottface now on a scoring pass, trying to muscle her way through. Very strong pack. They're very physical. Lorraine Acid contending with her. And with she the is just, wow. Look at that right there. Oh, Lorraine, Lorraine Acid, Acid putting everything into it. And now Bratislava Bruiser trying to hold off Scottface. Sends her down and... Uh, Ohio Roller Girls jammer Hellion Boy out of the pack, and they are just putting it to Scarface right now. Hellion, Scarface calls it off. She did get five points, so a smart call off there. She got her points. 60 to 43, seven minutes, 15 seconds in the first half of play. Such a physical muscle game, just muscling everybody out there. That's right, and you know, Windy City Rollers last night defeating Bruce City. But the one thing you got to give Bruce City a ton of credit for was how physical they played through that game. Their intensity never let up. They were at 100% that whole time. And they may have worn down Windy City a little bit for this Ohio Roller Girls team. And Ohio, with nothing to lose here, had a very good warm-up game, we'll call it. I don't know if it's a warm-up. It was a very physical game against Arch Rival. But Jackie Daniels gets lead jammer status here for Windy City. Windy City in some penalty trouble right now. Four on two for Ohio as Phoenix Buns is out on her initial pass. Here comes Jackie Daniels looking to score. Sneaks through Bratislava Bruiser. Takes another hit and just rolls on out. It's going to be four points for Jackie Daniels. Calls it off. And 
no points go up on the board for Ohio. I think some penalty problems here for Windy City. I think Bork, Bork, Bork got called it a penalty right at the end. So we're going to have a very small pack here, I believe, as someone is standing in the penalty box for Windy City. So I think there's going to be three in the box, just Sargentina, the lone blocker against four blockers for Ohio. Advantage, Kitty Lickerbottom. That's right. Tell you what, though, if you have one blocker to throw out there, Sargentina's a pretty good choice. She has been very, very consistently solid basically her entire career, but she looked great last night, and so far today she has been very, very good. We'd like to thank Bones Bearings. Bones Bearings, the standard by which all other bearings are measured. Bonesbearings.com. We see our coaches talking to our head referee, Trippendale, out there, our head referee of this match. The three referee crews doing a lot of hard work this weekend. And it looks like we're about ready to go. Cola Loca for Windy City. And Kitty Lickerbottom for Ohio. Advantage right now for Ohio, four on one. They're gonna look for that quick lead jammer. Fortunately for Kitty Lickerbottom, she went right into the back of Sargentina. And she is holding it down right there. Windy City getting another blocker back. Got to give credit to Sargentina for holding this long. Kitty Lickerbottom takes out Cola Loca herself. And Windy City adding another blocker. But Kitty Lickerbottom able to get through lead jammer status. Here comes Ohio. Great job by Kitty Lickerbottom. Fought and fought and fought against Sargentina and Yvette, your maker, finally broke through. Meanwhile, Cola Loca still looking to get out of this pack. Nice job by Ohio to keep that dynamic wall up in front. Very tight pack out there right now. Kitty Lickerbottom on a scoring pass. Cola Loca still on that initial pass. Makes a run on the outside. She did stay inbounds. She's out on her initial pass. Meanwhile, up in front, Kitty Lickerbottom in there and scoring. Gets knocked out again by Sargentina. And she's going to call it off, but it may be too late. No, she does pick up all five, but she does give up two at the last second. Excellent effort by Cola Loca, skating hard through those four whistles. Picks up a pair for the Windy City Rollers. That's going to give them 66. Ohio right now with 48, 434 left in this first half of gameplay. I'm AK 40 Ounce here with Bryant Mumble at Thrill of the Spill in Niagara, New York, bringing you the first of five large tournaments for the WFTDA championship tournament season. The penalty box empty here. Athena to crime for Windy City in black against the Smacktivists for the Ohio Roller Girls in white and green. Athena to crime almost out right there. Got forced out on the apex. Solid defense. Ohio last second effort right there. She does get out and is not lead though. Smacktivist almost through but ended up on her knee pads. Who's your mama had a nice block to prevent Smacktivist to get through, but Smacktivist sticking with it. She had one skate going around turn one there. Oh, Ooh, oh. big collision. Huge knockdown right there. Smacktivist says, I'm going to do my own block and send Who's your mama to the threshing room floor. Gets lead jammer and calls it off just in time. Stop Windy City from scoring. I haven't seen Who's your mama go, go, go flying like that very often. The Smacktivist muscle her way through. We'd like to thank Blood and Thunder magazine. Blood and Thunder is the world's first and largest roller derby magazine. Find them at bloodandthundermag.com. Back to the action on the floor. Speaking of on the floor, Windy City on their knees to start this jam off quick. It's going to be Varla Vendetta jamming for the Windy City Rollers. She's up against Hellion Boy for Ohio. It's wall against wall right now, although Ohio's starting to break up Windy City's wall. Uh, both jammers getting sent out, one to the infield, one to the outfield, both recovering quickly. There have been so many jammer knockdowns already in this game, you know, and it's amazing for me to see somebody like Cola Loca spend so much time on the floor. Right very, now, oh, sorry, go very ahead. Very defensive jam so far as Konichiwa goes to the penalty box for Windy City. Varla Vendetta finally gets lead jammer status after 35 seconds in this jam. So Varla Vendetta is going to get a scoring chance here. The three wall holding now for Windy City. Lorraine Acid with a pretty nice hit on Varla Vendetta. Hellion Boy gets through, checks her jammer cap as she does every time she clears the pack. Lorraine Acid headed off to the box right now for Ohio. So they've only got two blockers out there. Easier pass for Varla Vendetta. She puts five up. It's 
grand slam for Windy City. She's got her hands ready and she's gonna call it off before Hellion Boy can get back around. Right now we got 71-48 in favor of a Windy City over Ohio. Just under two minutes left in this first half of game play. Let's think Fast Girl Skates. Fast Girl Skates, the first full service brick and mortar derby store in the world, brings their extensive in-store experience to you online. We know firsthand how to make feet happy. Check out Fast Girl Skates. Tell you what, had an opportunity to go out there a couple years back, going to see the Rat City Rollers out there in Seattle. Great store, very informative. They helped us out a lot. All right, back on the action on the floor. A lot going on. Everybody's just kind of swarming around Jackie Daniels and Kitty Lickerbottom, the jammers for their respective teams. Jackie Daniels out first, lead jammer Windy City. Here comes Kitty Lickerbottom, still trying to get through the pack. Bork, Bork, Bork was there along with Who's Your Mama, now contending with Old Dirty Gogo -Go as Jackie Daniels now on that scoring pass for Windy City. Amy Spears fighting hard, trying to stay in front of Jackie Daniels. Easier said than done. Five point grand slam for old number seven. Nice defense here by Ohio. Someone's going to the penalty box. It is Kitty Lickerbottom. That's right. Big opportunity for Jackie Daniels. Power jam time right now. A lot of credit going out to old Dirty Gogo -Go for drawing that major cut. Five point grand slam for Jackie Daniels. She's looking to go on a spree. You know Windy City would love nothing more than to open it up right now and get a little bit more of a comfortable lead. And she's working on it. Another five-point grand slam for Jackie Daniels. 33 seconds left in this half, but we are on jam time after that. 53 seconds remaining in the jam. On that last pass, Jackie Daniels took a shot from Pippi Rip Your Stockings, but she got knocked down but was able to keep her momentum going forward, sliding past her on a knee, getting back up and clearing the pack. But here she is again on another scoring pass. And Phoenix Buns holding her up right now. Nice offensive block. Bork, Bork, Bork gives her a little bit of a push. Extra little bump to get out of the pack. And another five points goes up for Jackie Daniels and the Windy City Rollers. And look out, here she comes again. She's in jam time and she's got 23 seconds to do as much damage as possible. A really strong way to end the half for Windy City. Ohio's been sticking with it. But a big way to end this half for Windy City. Just eight seconds left in this jam. Can Jackie Daniels score any more? Kitty Lickerbottom has come out of the box, has cleared the pack. Oh, and a nice offensive knockdown right there for Windy City. She'll at least get one away for the official count. Two points, says Machete Holiday, and that is a huge jam for Jackie Daniels. Fourth minor at the very end there on Phoenix Buns. And with that, Windy City opens up a 50-point lead, 98 to 48, as we go into the halftime. Strong Ooh, finish wow. to that half. Very <laughs> intense. That was a very intense first half of play. I, that was exciting. Absolutely. It's, it's not often you get to see teams really put it to Windy City like that. Ohio had the lead for a little bit. Windy City kept going. It was a pretty reasonable gap right up until the end, and then Jackie Daniels comes out and just opens it up. Nice breathing room for Windy City. They don't, they're not comfortable, they've got a comfortable lead, but they can't be comfortable going into that locker room because they know Ohio is fighting tooth and nail. They just, they can smell it. They can smell the blood and they want nothing more to sink their teeth into win. Ohio's got nothing to lose. They've been a core group, this veteran group together. It's not a, it's not a lot of new talent. It's the same core that they've always had. They've just worked this really long schedule this year and really pounded out everything they need to do. And they're doing it here this weekend. And they got, they got a chance here to try to get to Atlanta, Georgia for the championship. And if they don't do it today, they'll get another chance tomorrow. And welcome back to WFTDA.TV's broadcast of the North Central Region Playoff. The current match, the Windy City Roller All-Stars versus the Ohio Roller Girls in the semifinal match of Thrill of the Spill. Great game so far, as you can see up on the scoreboard behind us. 98 Windy City, 48 Ohio. And the only reason that gap is so big is because Jackie Daniels came out huge right at the end of the first half. Let me give you some leading scorers. Jackie Daniels leading all Windy City scorers and all scorers with 35, followed by Athena DeCrime with 23, Cola Loca with 22 tallies on the board, and Varla Vendetta with 10. On the other side of things, Pippi Rip Your Stockings tallying 19 points, Kitty Liquor bottom with 14, and we've got Phoenix Buns, a scant seven right behind the Smacktivist who's got eight. 
We like to thank Derby Skins. Derby Skins, it's a Derby girl's world. We just live in it. Derby Skins are probably made in the USA. Check them out at derbyskins.com. I think I need a, a, an announcer cap for being on this, this thing. That's right. Maybe uh, something LeMay and gold. Uh, reminding you, now I am AK-40 Ounce, and this is Brian Mumble. And you can talk to us and all the announcers throughout the weekend and through all the big five. Hashtag talk, the number two, WFTDA. And we will get some feeds. We've gotten feedback from all across the world. So I am going to reintroduce us as, again, Brian Mumble. Hi. And for our international friends, I am AK-1.18 liters. Math. I can't do that. Conversion Yeah, I had rate. to look it up. And we <laughs> Now that you're doing international roller derby, I don't blame you. So we're exactly. about ready to go here again. We got Ohio versus Windy City as Naptown and Minnesota took every single last second of warm-up time they could. Yeah, they are primed for this next bout. Naptown MNRG semifinals. After that, we're going to see Bruce City versus Arch Rival at 6 o'clock. Finishing out today, it's going to be the Dairyland Dolls versus Detroit Derby Girls. But the focus right now is on this bout. Windy City versus Ohio, and it has been exciting. 98-48, 50-point lead for Windy City coming out of the half. And uh, Mumbles, what are you thinking that Windy City's got to do to make sure they don't lose this lead and they can pull it off and, and go to the champs? Basically not self-destruct. They have to just play their game. They have to stay out of the penalty box, and they don't have to do too much. Uh, all they need is the victory. They don't need to uh, blow up the score or anything like that. So they have the 50-point lead, and they just need to take their shots. That's right. Speaking of penalties, 11 trips to the box for Windy City in the first half. Ohio with only seven. So Windy City in a little bit of penalty trouble. We've seen some power jams back and forth here. Cola Loca right now, a powerful jammer up against number 365 in the white and green. That is the Smacktivist for Ohio. Cola Loca out first, lead jammer Windy City. Very quick lead jammer status. Varla Vendetta took an intentional fourth minor at the start of that jam. She did not want to jam, normally a jammer. She did not want to jam with three minor penalties. Great move right there, Smacktivist getting around Sargentina and then getting around who's your mama, but quick pass right there for Cola Loca. That's gonna be four points for WCR. They're gonna extend this jam a little bit, try to kill some penalty time here. And then they call off the jam before the Smacktivist can score. And I see a thumbs up from Howie Rolson for Cola Loca. Cola doesn't look too happy with that jam though. That's right, Howie Rolson, the uh, manager for the Windy City Rollers. Moving his way up, he originally from Detroit, one of the managers there, uh, came into the second win last season. Yes, for the, the Windy B City team Rollers. for Windy City. Yep, and now uh, at the helm for this team, he's gotta be very excited. He said he had three goals this weekend to see the falls, to uh, propose to his girlfriend, <laughs> and to win a championship. You just told people back home that didn't know. Jackie Daniels trying to get through. She got lead jammer status for Windy City. <laughs> Some people are screaming right now back home from what you just said. I asked him, he said it was okay. Oh, he said it was okay. Kitty Licker about him being held up in the back. Jackie Daniels almost jumped through easily, but right there was the Ohio Roller Girls pivot. Whoa. Jumping all over. Oh, and a great job right there. That's Bratislava Bruiser pivoting. Draws the cut on Jackie Daniels. Power jam now for Ohio. Jackie tried to fight it with everything she had, but she got ridden out of bounds. So big opportunity here for Kitty Lickerbottom and Ohio to get back into this one. But Old so Dirty Gogo with the uh, the defensive block right there, and Kitty Lickerbottom did draw a minor cutting the track penalty on number 12 in the white for Ohio. Right now, Moby Nips, last one to beat for Kitty. Way out in front, Moby's gonna have to let her go. Oh, she sticks with her, and she's oh. going to the box for that. Kitty out of the pack, and now she's looking at a power jam. Advantage Ohio, four on two pack. The ultimate power jam here as Kitty Lickerbottom racking up some points, narrowing this gap, five points for Kitty Lickerbottom. That's right, they got a little way to go. It's a long road to the top if you want to rock and roll. And Ohio can be very patient. Right now getting held up as Kitty Lickerbottom. Great defensive job right there for Gogo and Varla Vendetta. You'll see Gogo do that all day. She blocks the jammer out of bounds and retreats, recycling her all the way to the back. Nice tsunami of blockers for Ohio, getting back and around, opening up the inside line. Another grand slam going on the board for Kitty Lickerbottom. Jackie Daniels is out of the box for Windy City, now held up by Phoenix Bunn. She's working her way around her. Good offensive blocking from Windy City, but great, great recycling from Ohio to force Jackie Daniels out on the straightaway. 
And another five points. I believe that's a 15-point jam for Kitty Leckerbottom. Two points, though, for Jackie Daniels. So a 13-point Oh, I'm sorry. I got that reversed. Jackie Daniels got five points. She got some of those before she went to the box. And then Kitty Lickerbottom got two more points at the end there. So 12-point jam for Ohio. Jackie Daniels still leading all scorers with 40. Kitty Lickerbottom tops of Ohio with 26. Right now it's going to be Phoenix Buns, number 23, and the newly engaged Athena DeCrime for Windy City. A full pack here. No one in the penalty box. Something to celebrate as Phoenix Buns nearing the front, wall against the wall. This time the wall in front is Windy City. Oh, Athena taken down. Nice positional blocking right there. Results in the knockdown for Ohio's pack. Kilbasa trying to create some holes for her jammer at the front of the pack. And Phoenix Buns muscles past Sargentina, lead jammer Ohio. Yeah, that's one for the bucket list right there. Fighting your way past Sargentina, and she can check it off. She can also check off getting lead jammer in this one. Athena to crime out on her initial pass, but here comes Phoenix Buns. The cockeyed panty on her head jumps out in front of all dirty, or I'm sorry, that's Ruth Anasia. Gets out, finishes scoring past four more points. Great job for Phoenix Buns, and we got Ohio on a little bit of a run here, Mumbles. 107 64, Ohio trying to close the gap here. 25 minutes, 30 seconds to go. They do have the crowd behind them. Scott Face going to take an intentional fourth minor. You can't see her on the screen, but she is going to go to the penalty box. She's there sitting she with, is, head there, peeking there, you out. You can see her head peeking out. She's got the checkered face paint. Wearing and the star behind the stripe is Varla Vendetta for Windy City. She's up against Hellion Boy in the white and green for the Ohio Roller Girls. You're watching WFTDA.TV. Both jammers trying to get near the front of the pack. Varla Vendetta's got one blocker to beat. She's through lead jammer, Varla Vendetta. Yeah, she's got to... Uh, Buy a drink for her old dirty go go for that assist right there. Almost got locked up, but the Wiley number 17 coming across, playing some solid offense. Right now, switching to defense, sending Hellion Boy out, and here comes Windy City charging around the outside. That's going to be a five point grand slam for Scoffes. I'm sorry, Varla Vendetta. And Someone's going to the box. You vet your maker for Windy City. Only two blockers out there for Windy City now. That's right. Scarface in the box. Drew her fourth. Oh, and it's going to be a four on one. Three on one. Wow, sure. my math is really off. I apologize to everybody listening at home. Anyways, right now, Varla Vendetta still working her way around. Lorraine Acid out of the box, and she is rejoining her teammates out in front. Hellion Boy is going to call that one off before points go up for Windy City. Some penalty issues here for Windy City. Old Dirty Go Go has to wait her turn to go to the penalty box. So two in the box. I know, okay, we're going to have three in the box to start it off as Scarface is standing. So Sargentina, the lone blocker. Second time we've seen this where Sargentina was the lone blocker against four for Ohio. Went well for Windy City last time, Fairly, too. Yes. And uh, Cola Loca going to be the jammer for Windy City. And for the first time today, Lorraine Acid, the Ohio jammer. Quietly brilliant in the pack has been Lorraine Acid for Ohio. Now taking a turn with the jammer star. Looking to get around. Great blocking up front from Sargentina. Nice push right there for Lorraine Acid. But Sargentina comes around, sends her out of bounds. Sargentina goes out as well. But Lorraine Acid really wants to get lead jammer, so she's going to come all the way back behind. Did not get in front of her. This is a power jam, lead jammer status for Lorraine Acid. Cola Loca went to the penalty box. Only two blockers out there for Windy City. Ohio's gonna lose one, but a wide open outside lane right there for Lorraine Acid. Five point grand slam for number 59. This giving hope to the Cinderella story here. Lorraine Acid <laughs> goes to a complete stop. Sargentina and Scarface trying to hold off Lorraine Acid. Windy City getting you vet your maker back. Instantly making an impact. Great hit from Sargentina, but Lorraine Acid stays on her wheels and keeps going. Five point grand slam. Crowd getting loud here in Niagara. Now all four blockers back on the track for Windy City. Three out there for Ohio. Here comes Lorraine Acid on another scoring pass. Right there to meet her, though, is Old Dirty Gogo. The vet your maker out there playing support for number 17. Lorraine Acid looking for room. Here comes Cola Loca out of the box. Sneaks through. Oh, runs into an Ohio blocker. And, oh. Major back block, and she is going right back to the box. Cola Loca uncharacteristically in a bunch of trouble in this game. Right now, the power jam continues for Ohio. The entire crowd yelled jammer in as Cola Loca came out of the penalty box. That's right, you don't need base coaches when the entire room is cheering you on. 
Lorraine Asset now getting the uh, the nasty end of your vet, your maker. A lot of, lot of difficulty getting past her. She does get around, but there's Scott face to meet her old dirty go-go. Nice shoulder hit right there. And two minutes are up. That's going to end the jam. Lorraine Asset thought about passing the jammer star, but two minutes are up. And the power jam is going to continue. Kola Loka still cooling her jets in the penalty box. 116-77. Ohio starting to close the gap a little bit. 21 minutes, 30 seconds left. Wow, you want to talk about a uh, secret weapon right there. Lorraine Acid, 13 points in her first jam. Way to capitalize on that power jam. Ohio now looking to the Smacktivist. Our scorer is 116 Windy City, 77 Ohio, 2109 left in this second half of gameplay. The Smacktivist trying to muscle her way through, using a lot of force, trying to break up that wall. Konichi Wild, the local Buffalo girl, trying to hold her off. Smacktivist fighting hard. She's only got two blockers for support out there. This is a really, really important penalty kill for Windy City. And with their entire force out there, they're doing a great job. Pack gets split, though. They got to let her go. Lee Jammer goes to the Smacktivist, but Windy City successfully kills about 30 seconds. I think a fourth minor on Konichi Wow of Windy City. Shrinking that pack a little bit. Kola Loka about to come out of the penalty box for Windy City. She's got room on the outside. Phoenix Bunch trying to connect. Oh, it down. Does. Cola sticks with it for our major on. I think that was Phoenix Bunch. And Cola Ogloka going back to the penalty box three wow. times in a row. Three minutes straight for Cola Loca, and she's got to be looking at some penalty trouble right now. She's going to have to clean it up. I'm guessing she might get a, uh, a turn blocking, take up some aggression once she gets out of the box the before she goes back into jam. Wow, the Smacktivist trying to narrow this gap even more. Penalty issues for Windy City. Georgia on you behind it. Bork, Bork, Bork trying to hold off the Smacktivist. Two really strong blockers out there for Windy City. It's going to be a conga line from Ohio. Gets spread out. Another five-point grand slam up on the board for Ohio. Great job with pack control from the ladies in white and green. The pack shrinking as a blocker. George Arnie behind waiting her turn to go to the penalty box. Smack to Vist, trying to get through on one foot. Gets knocked down to the infield. She's going to have to come all the way back in. Connects with Kenichi Wow coming out of the infield. Right now, no pack called again. You gotta let her go. George Rounder behind yields. Five more points go up on the board for Ohio. Sneak it back up. And that'll end the jam. 116 to 92 for Windy City. And what a run right there for Ohio. This place is a rockin'. And we've got a 24 point lead for Windy City wheels, with 19 minutes left in this game. The wheels have been coming off here for. Windy City. I see Athena to crime on the jammer line. I thought Kololoka went to the box. I'm a little confused what happened there. You know what? I'm going to speculate. I'm not going to say this is official, but the fact that Phoenix Buns got the major forearm would have meant there was not a cut. That might have been a mistake by the jammer to send her off to the box and a costly one for Windy City at that. The crowd very much into this one, 116 to 92. We'd like to thank Wicked Skatewear. It's an apparel and uniform company that happens to sell roller skates and gear. Check out their stores or go to wickedskatewear.com. And remember, you can't unfortunately play a roller derby all the time. You gotta let your body rest, but your mind can stay fresh playing Jammer Up. <laughs> Jammer Up, the first strategy board game based on modern day roller derby, jammerup.com. For the nerds and the awesome roller derby fans. I, sh I, I feel bad that I just said that. I'm going to give myself a penalty for saying that. And then I'm going to talk about Derbalife.com. Roller Derby nutrition at its finest. Check out Derbalife.com. All right, coming off a big 13-point jam for Ohio. Lorraine Acid back with the star on her helmet. Ohio in the white and green. Windy City in the black and silver. Athena DeCrime Don in the six-pointed star for the Windy City Rollers. You see Trippendale having some words with Code Adam there. Our head referee's Trippendale of this match. That's right, Code Adam was the referee on that call that we just discussed, the cutting the track major. A little communication breakdown of the referees. Understandable with as loud as it is in here right now. It's very loud. And all the Ohio fans are really into this one. Indeed, as they should be right now. Exciting jam coming up. It's Lorraine Acid 
versus Athena DeCrime. Three on two for Ohio. Athena DeCrime sneaking through on the inside quickly. Jammer for Windy City. That's exactly what they needed to get some momentum back. But she does get recycled immediately back into the pack. She does have lead jammer status, but still on that initial pass. Phoenix Buns and Kilbasa holding her up right now. Back at the back of the pack, Sargentina and Ruthanasia trying to hold off Lorraine Acid. Lorraine Acid still behind Sargentina on her initial pass. Athena, your lead jammer, and a cut track major on Lorraine Acid. But Athena called it off wow. not knowing that that was going to be a penalty. So we're going to start the next jam with a power jam for Varla Vendetta. Yeah, Varla's going to have a full 60 seconds to do some damage out there as long as she can stay out of the box. She's done a good job of it so far. Cola Loca, though, in a lot of penalty trouble as a jammer. Three in a row was the story and the big swing thus far, which brings us to 116 to 92. Windy City over Ohio, 24 points, still the difference here. We've got 17, 41, 40, 39 ticking off the clock in this bout. This is such a close game, 116 to 92. Oh my goodness gracious, this jam has begun. No pack is called right there, and interesting. Start with old Dirty Gogo -Go on a knee. Sargentina getting up to break the pack. Huge hit right there. Varla Vendetta getting sent to the floor hard. Bratislava Bruiser with that huge hit. Phoenix Buns outside the engagement zone. Lead jammer Varla Vendetta. Nice job by Ohio to kill some time right there on this penalty kill. They only got about 24 seconds before Varla got out right there. Back in and trying to score. Gets held up on the inside line by Phoenix Bunn. She's cutting to the outside now, and here comes Windy City's blockers. They got two blockers out of the penalty box to help out Varla Vendetta, but they're taking the passive offense. As Varla Vendetta trying to muscle her way through. Bratislava Brava, Bruiser, Bratislava Bruiser right in front of her. Nice job by Windy City. Good offensive blocking to the outside. Opens up the inside line for Varla. That's gonna be a five point grand slam for Windy City Rollers. And here comes Lorraine Acid out of the box for Ohio. So now Ohio has a jammer, but oh, a big little hole there for Varla. She saw it and jetted right through it. 10 points so far in this jam. Old Dirty Gogo -Go with a nice block, recycling Lorraine Acid to the back of the pack. And Lorraine Acid playing some defense on Varla Vendetta. Varla finding her way around, gets up to the front, knocked down hard. Nice job right there by the captain on Varla Vendetta. Pack again getting spread out. Nice split, but not quite yet. Here comes Varla, that's gonna be five more points. Big jam right here for number 25 in the Windy City Rollers in the black. Oh, and a massive knockdown. Georgia on your behind right there, sending one of the Ohio blockers to the floor. Lorraine Acid still having some trouble. Can't look to her pivot to pass the star either because her pivot's in the box. Varla Vendetta's had 20 points so far in this jam, really opening things up. And, and it's wow. gonna be another four more. So big 24 point jam for Varla Vendetta in the Windy City, getting things a little bit back on track, 140 to 92. We got a timeout called by Ohio with 15 minutes, 28 seconds left to play in this one. Both teams, one timeout off the board. They do get three per game, so two remaining, and you know they're gonna wanna be saving it for the end of this one. Things get tight in the last few minutes. We'd like to thank Derbyology.com, purveyors of the Derby Unusual. Ooh. We're not crazy, we just like Derby, Derbyology.com. That's right, I'd like to remind you, all of you out there listening, that you can upgrade to the video feed. It's only 12 bucks for this weekend, or you can just pay 50 and get all of the tournaments with the crystal clear high definition video feed. And just in case you have any issues, make sure you click on the support icon at the top of your screen on the website, and they'll get that taken care of for you. And also, the, like, oh, the sorry, archives bubbles. are going up yes. rather quickly for WFTD.TV. I know some matches from yesterday are already up in the archives, and I believe you can just watch those now. That's right. Uh, from what I hear, everything's going to be up by Tuesday. And, of course, you can buy DVDs from this weekend. You can order those online, as well as shirts from Thrill of the Spill. And you can talk to us, hashtag talk, the number 2 WFTDA. Send your messages in from all across the world. We'll give you some shout-outs. And we're about ready to go here again. Scarface out there for Windy City against Hellion Boy, the veteran for the Ohio Roller Girls. Quick start right here from Windy City, wearing the black and silver. White and green are your Ohio Roller Girls. Scafe sneaking through, picks up Lee Jammer. Take it down hard, though. Nice hit from the pivot. They're going to say that's a major, though. So it's going to be one less blocker for Ohio. Penalty Scafe. She's going to the penalty box. I believe is cutting the track. Power jam, Hellion Boy of Ohio. 
turns of events back and forth. Good opportunity. Oh, massive hit right there. Taking down the jammer for Ohio. Hellion boy. Only one blocker out there for Ohio. So a formidable pack out there right now for Hellion boy to contend with. However, she's still fighting, fighting her way through. Oh, Konichi, Konichi, wow. wow. And it's going to be major forearm on Konichi. Wow. So many penalties here in the second half. Hellion boy still on her initial pass in this power jam. Windy City trying to get the penalty kill. And it's, we see, I'm hearing another whistle. Outside the engagement zone penalty, you vet your maker. Now they're losing blockers. And Hellion Boy comes through. She is not your lead jammer. However, in the power jam situation, that, that might not matter too much. Here comes Hellion Boy now. Oh, Jackie Jackie. Daniels going sideways, throwing her hip into Hellion Boy. She's a little slow to get up right there. And the pack at a standstill. Hellion Boy trying to find a little break between these two blockers. Jackie Daniels sitting on her now. Ruthanasia misses. And Hellion Boy gets through. On, on, that was a scoring pass. Five point grand slam. Hellion Boy. Scarface out of the penalty box. Oh, big hit right there. Scarface staying up, though. Nice job. She's got one to beat out in front. She'll take a cold shoulder from Phoenix Buns, and she is out on her initial pass. And a skater down in the corner in turn one for Ohio. They lose a blocker to a skate malfunction. And Quick, Scarf easy pass for Scarface right there, picking up four more points. No points for Ohio, and a quick penalty tally going into that last jam. It was 23 minutes in the box for Windy City, 17 for Ohio. So Windy City still a little more heavily penalized, but not by too much. So despite that penalty, the score still remains very much in Windy City's favor, 144 to 97, and both teams have a jammer. We've yes. Got We've got Cola Loca wearing the black and silver, and in the white and green for OHRG is Kitty Lickerbottom. Quick start from Ohio, three on three pack right now. Watch out, Cola Loca has something to prove after going to the box a bunch of times. She gets through, lead jammer, 9-1-1 for Black. Phoenix Buns tried to hold her off, but Cola Loca wins that battle, gets lead jammer status. As Kitty Lickerbottom still on that initial pass, she's behind a three wall of Windy City blockers. Cola Loca on a scoring pass now. Amy Spears rides her out of bounds. Amy Spears very solid in this game for Ohio. A lot of good blocks. She has saved them a bunch of points so far. Nice fight right there from Cola Loca. Gets past Phoenix Bunce. That's five point grand slam for WCR. And fourth minor penalty on Sargentina for Windy City. So four on three in the pack in favor of Ohio. Collision minor back walk on Cola Loca there. Good clearing block right there for Old Dirty Gogo. One to beat, Amy Spears, Cole Loca fights through, does it again. Five points go up for Windy City. So 10 points so far in this jam for Windy City. And we got a star pass for OHRG. Looks like it's gonna be Phoenix Buns taking over scoring duties. I think that's a smart move there, gonna limit some damage here. Cole Loca calls off the jam after scoring four more. So 14 points. And a block to the head major at the end of that jam on Old Dirty Go-Go for Windy City. Old Dirty Go-Go giving the thumbs up to Hanging Chad saying that's a good call. <laughs> Thanks, I deserve that. Right now our score, 158, <laughs> Windy City, 97, Ohio. And we've got 11-22 left in this bout. like to thank Roller Derby Nutrition at its finest, Derby Life, as well as Five Stride Skate Shop online, in-store. In the city that never sleeps, owned by Bonnie Thunders, OMG, WTF, FiveStrideSkateShop.com. Back to the action on the track, though. We got Phoenix Buns, number 23 for Ohio in white, up against Varla Vendetta, number 25 in black for Windy City. Varla Vendetta picking up lead jammer while she's on the ground right there. Springs right back up to life, and she is getting ready to score some points. Phoenix Buns out as well. Phoenix Buns right behind her. I'd say about 30 feet behind her. We had a multiplayer block on a, an Ohio skater, so they lose a blocker. The pack moving at a pretty good pace. Phoenix Buns closing the gap as Varla is trying to get through. Windy City does have the front of the pack. That will be an advantage for Varla Vendetta as she's trying to score here. But she's going to call off the jam before either team can score any points. So 158, 97, 10 minutes, 25 seconds left to play in this semifinal match. That's right. I'm AK40 Ounce here with Brian Mumble on WFTDA TV. Thank you for joining us. A shout out right now to Derby for All, experienced Derby skaters, getting you the right gear to take you to the next level. Their mountain plates here until Sunday morning at their mega booth 
Make sure you check them out online as well, www.derbyforall.com, all up on the interwebs. We've got Scarface out there for Windy City in black and the Smacktivist out there for the Ohio Roller Girls in white. Oh, Scarface has a run. She is your lead jammer, Scarface. Great job cutting to the outside. Saw her outside line diminish. Cut hard back into the inside. She is out of there. Meanwhile, Smacktivist held up by Jackie Daniels. She's got Bork, Bork, Bork for support. Bork, Bork, Bork right there, but Jackie Daniels still with her booty all over Smacktivist. And a nice block by Bork, 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 but Smacktivist able to stay in bounds. Sargentina, the last line of defense, trying to hold her off, and Jackie Daniels re-engages. Smacktivist taken down. Old Dirty Gogo. -Go. Jackie Daniels held her as long as she could. Eased up at the last second before she got the penalty. Smacktivist is out and in there and scoring. Scott Face. With four points for the Windy City Rollers. That will end the jam right now. Score stands 1 6 2. Windy City 97 Ohio. And we are on the plus side of nine minutes for the next two seconds left in this bout. We'd like to thank 2N1 Skate Shop. Check out the Bracket Bonanza sponsor, 2N1 Skate Shop. Take 10% off your entire order at 2N1SkateShop.com. Two Ps in SkateShop.com. Uh, when you use the coupon Bonanza during the checkout, check them out. All right. We've got Yvette, your maker, with the star right now for Windy City. First time for her in this bout. She's being held up right now. Ohio getting out first, picking up lead jammer. That's Phoenix Buns. The clock becoming a major issue now. Ohio needs to start scoring points in bunches as Phoenix Buns on a scoring pass gets taken out of bounds by Georgia on your behind, calling off the jam. Great job by Georgia on your behind, using her old body right there, gets her side into her and sends her to the floor. That ends that one. Score still stands, 162, 98 in favor of Windy City. Eight minutes and a couple seconds left. Mumbles. Yvette, your maker, takes the jammer star. She I think this is the first time we've seen her take the Jammer Star. Often happens late in games. Uh, she's up against the Smacktivist, who's been muscling her way through packs all day long. And we have an official timeout on the track. This timeout brought to you by all of the WFTD8.TV sponsors. Doggone it. We thank all of them for helping put this production on on WFTD8.TV. And if you want to talk directly to thousands of Derby fans, advertise on WFTD8.TV. Affordable packages are available for your business. Boot camp or tournament advertising. Visit WFTD8.com slash sponsor slash opportunities to learn more. That's right. Reaching all across the world. Reminder, no matter where you're at, you can talk to us at hashtag talk, the number two WFTDA. Here we go, we've got a vet your maker up against Smacktivist into the scrum start. Both teams pretty solid on the blocking end of things. A lot of blockers out there. Penalty box is clear. It's still a very tight pack. You've had your maker find some cracks, though. Gets through lead jammer status, but right on her tail is the Smacktivist. Most importantly for Windy City is they can kill a little clock here. Smacktivist looking to get in to invite your maker. Sends her down, coming into turn four. Crowd goes wild with that jammer on jammer action. And Smacktivist, oh, almost got in there to score. Did not, though, 0 0. On that one, we stand firm. 162 98 in favor of Windy City. I suspect we might have some penalty problems with Windy City jammers as we see Varla Vendetta take an intentional fourth minor. And we see Konichi Wow for the first time jamming in this one. Usually late in the game, Windy City will start putting in jammers that don't normally jam because they have penalty issues going on with their other jammers. That's right. And of course, Konichi Wow yesterday got into jam. Big jam for her. Put up a uh, number of grand slams in front of the hometown crowd. Right now, trying to work her way through, back and forth. Good job by Ohio, staying out in front. No pack called. She gets out, gets knocked out of bounds, though. Lead jammer does belong to Konichi Wow and the Windy City Rollers. But she got Kitty Lickerbottom is your jammer for Ohio. She got through the pack. She's the secondary jammer. So I would expect Konichiwa to call off the jam. We'll see if that does happen, though. As Kitty Lickerbottom is going to have a chance to score here. Kitty yeah, she is going to get this chance to score. So Konichiwa going to keep things going. Running clock here. Here comes Kaywa on her scoring pass. Nice block right there from Ohio, sending her to the infield. So four points. Wow. four points for Konichiwa. Kitty Lickerbottom on a scoring pass, held up by a three wall at the back of the pack. 
Only two blockers out there for Ohio. That's Avatar along with Phoenix Buns and easily through that pack right there is Kanichi. Wow, looks like she's putting together another big one for everybody back home. Five points go up on the board for Windy City, taking them up to 171. This is a pretty solid jam here for Kanichi Wow. Now on her third scoring pass. Big block from Kitty Licker. Bottom sends them both to the ground. Back up and fighting. Both get sent to the outside. They're going to skate all the way back behind. Try and re-engage and get through. Five minutes, ten seconds remaining in this bout. Windy City with the lead. Kanichi Wow fighting hard for WCR. And Kanichi Wow going to the penalty box. Major track cut right before she went, got knocked down in turn two. That's going to leave it up to Kitty Licker. Bottom start putting something together right now. Ohio not out of it. They still within distance of striking. Kitty Licker bottom's going to pick up a minor penalty on Varla Vendetta. That's back blocking right before she gets five points up on the scoreboard for Ohio. So passing the century mark, 103 for OHRG, 171 Windy City. My friend Brian Mumble, you look like you got something to say. I, there's so much to say. It's been such an exciting match here. We got the smack of it's going to take the line here in this power jam opportunity for the Ohio Roller Girls as Windy City not too happy with uh, things going on the track right now as their coaches are trying to discuss, we're trying to discuss some things with the officials. A passive offense here by Ohio. You know, and Ohio with the four on three advantage might consider going up and playing some offense because Windy City so good at keeping things lateral out in front. That strategy does not work often on them. Oh, Sergeant Tina stood up, tiptoeing backwards on her sky, back on her heels, I suppose. Four. Allows Ohio to get out and pick up lead jammer. Power jam continues right here for OHRG, and that's going to be a major track cut on Smacktivist. So we're going to have power jam switcheroo time. Smacktivist sits, and here comes Konichi Wow. Konichi Wow doesn't don that jammer star very often, but she is now. And she gets ridden out of bounds by Phoenix Buns, who's had a very impressive game here as a blocker and a jammer. Konichi Wow trying to head fake out Phoenix Buns. Phoenix Buns experience paying off right there. Stays in front of her. She gets held up, though, by George on your behind. And the three wall is left to deal with Konichi Wow. Konichi Wow just getting past those blockers. Very patient there. She didn't use a lot of force. She just very casually did a couple spin moves to get around the blockers. Nice head fake again right there. Phoenix Bunce is not going to get tricked by that. Sends her all the way to the back, almost to the jammer line. And Ohio doing their best to kill this penalty. Here comes Smacktivist out of the box. Georgia on your behind right there with her behind in her front. Another big hit from number 70. Just looking for some room right there. Is Smacktivist, she is out and through, and that's going to finish scoring pass. Four points, OHRG. Just 15 seconds left in this jam. Both jammers on scoring passes. Nichi Wow down and inside. Comes back around Sargentina right there all over Smacktivist from every possible angle. Along with Georgia on your behind. Sergeant Tita sends her to the infield. Four points will go up for Windy City and three more for OHRG. It's getting down to crunch time. Looking at two minute warning. 178 Windy City, 110 OHRG. A Hellion boy gonna take the jammer line for Ohio. Scarface gonna try and bring it home for the Windy City Roller All-Stars. You see Scarface there in the black jammer cap. Sargentina, late penalties, and that last one's going to sit in a box for Windy City. Four on three, Ohio. Let's see what they can pull off here. Hellion Boy nearing the front of the pack. Hellion Boy is your lead jammer for Ohio. Great job by Avatar for Ohio, keeping Scarface from busting out right there. Two wall up front for OHRG. Old Dirty Gogo -Go coming in to cause some chaos, but great recycling up front from Amy Spears, Phoenix Bunts. Here comes Hellion Boy on her scoring pass. Now Ohio still has two timeouts as Scarface clears the pack on her initial pass. Sent down on the infield by Georgia on your behind. Back up, getting hit instantaneously, gets knocked to the outfield on turn two, calls it off, picks up three points before that one's all over. That's going to bring us to 178 to 113. One minute left in this game, and we are going to have another timeout from OHRG. 
And we're, we've crossed the one minute mark. We should have probably time for one more jam, 178 to 113. Things looking very promising here for Windy City. Looks like they're gonna move to the championship match here. That's uh, right, everybody wants to play at six o'clock on Sunday. Windy City, one, uh, 58 seconds away from doing that. Ohio would have to pull out a really big one right here. Crazier things have happened though. 178, 113 in favor of Windy City. Winner will play the winner of the next game. Naptown MNRG coming up at four o'clock. So make sure you stay tuned right here on WFTDA.TV for all the action. As we line them up for what will likely be the last jam, it's gonna be Smacktivist taking the Jammer Star for Ohio against Varla Vendetta, the eight year veter veteran of the Windy City Roller All-Stars. That's right, couple vets up front to help her out. Old Dirty Gogo out there with the vet, your maker. Back there you see Smacktivist and Varla pacing back and forth like Darth Maul at the end of Phantom Menace. And we added a few seconds to the game clock, 103 on the game clock, official timeout. All Phoenix right. Buns has to go to the penalty box by the looks of things. Yes, she is gonna take a seat in the penalty box. So Ohio loses a blocker. No Fourth advantage minor. on the track, all right. Looks like we've got two on two, the two back behind the stripe. And we're waiting for things to go here in this last jam. Ohio wants to have a few more words. Make Pace sure everything's Pace situated. Minor, fo minor forearm was the fourth minor on Phoenix Buns. And looks like we're about ready to go in what will likely be this last jam of this set first semifinal match, the second semifinal match coming up right after this. Quick start from Ohio, and here we go. Quick start almost pays off. She was nearly through. Great recycling, good speed. Out of play up front. They got to let her go. Lead jammer, OHRG. The crowd's still going nuts. And uh, it seems like everyone's going to the penalty box right now. Only two blockers on the track total. Old Dirty Gogo -Go and Avatar. Wow. You want know, to talk about the microist of Pack Smack to this one to beat gets around Gogo. -Go. She is out through on her pass. Rella Vendetta coming in. Whistles blow. And that is going to be the end of the jam. It's going to be one more timeout. Last one for Ohio. Like so I said, was, it was smart of them to save that it. That was very smart. That was smart of them to save it. Yep, They're going to get one more jam. Uh, 61 points of difference. Make that uh, 64, 181, Windy City, 117, Ohio. We've got 28 seconds left in this bout. Of course, if the period clock runs out while the jam is on, we move to jam time. And official timeout. The Smacktivist going to get out there for Ohio. Varla Vendetta going to stay out there for Windy City. It's like the end of a basketball game here. Yes. The last two minutes have taken about 10. Of course, make sure the uh, the officials want to get everything right. The coaches want to make sure everything is of in proper order. And I think everybody just doesn't want this game to end because it's been so darn exciting. I think Amy Spears, she just, uh, I think she just fouled, fouled out. out of this one. The original Ohio Roller Girl, skating under her real name. That's right. Mom and Dad out in the crowd talking to uh, Double H earlier. And the cheers go up. It gets loud in here for Amy Spears as she's off to the locker room. She will not see the last jam of this game. And it looks like we got a couple more seconds put back on the clock as well. 33 remaining. Our head referee, Trippendale, speaking to the captain of Windy City. Old dirty go-go. Well, since we've got a couple minutes of the referees officiate. Ah, strange feedback right there. Referees discussing with the NSOs. Looking at the uh, leading scorers in this bout, Varla Vendetta leads all 46 points for Windy City, 40 points for Jackie Daniels, 23 for Athena the Crime, 16 for Scarface and Konichi Wow. For OHRG Smack to this with 34, 19 points for Pippi Ripper Stockings. Lorraine Acid picked up that big 13 point jam. And uh, sorry, skipped her, but Kitty Licker bottom number two score with 31 points for OHRG. Helly and Boy, not a lot of scoring in this game. She got shut down early, only picked up five. And it looks like we're about ready to go in this final jam. I said that the last jam, didn't I? Absolutely. I did. Who knows, we might have one more <laughs> after this. All right, so your two top scorers going head to head. Micro pack out there, quick start, here we go. Full jammers bouncing back and forth, trying to stay in bounds. I see a track cut. Minor on Varla Vendetta, I believe. 
So she's out front, but still a chance to get lead jammer status and extend this one for Ohio. Smacked this knocked down and out right there by Sargentina. Stays up this time, gets lead jammer. She's on her feet. Everybody's cheering, go, go, go. So I would expect to go the full two minutes here. We'll see how Ohio plays it out. And you know what, even though this one, out of reach. I'm gonna say it, period clock's over. I feel fine saying that Windy City's got this one all but sewn up, T's crossed and I's dotted. But you know, Ohio wants to put up some more points, close that gap, help them out on FTS, and then everybody's eyes saying, hey, we that, that difference wasn't that big. Oh, huge hit right there. Phoenix Buns is going to the box. Varla Vendetta down, having trouble getting up. She took one in the face. She stumbled when she got back up, but she looks she looks like she's going straight. She's going okay, although she goes down very quickly again. And she, I think she she might be staying down. I don't know how this factors out if the jam ends due to injury. Although Varla looks like she's going to the box. To the it's box. a major back block for Varla Vendetta. She has shook it up. She's taken a couple nasty high blocks in this game. Meanwhile, four points go up on the board for OHRG. I'd like to remind you, Varla did get in there. She may have scored points. So don't put this one in your bracket just yet. Tough okay. defensive wall for Windy City. Sargentina jockeying with position. She's gonna draw the major out of play. Smacktivist is gonna roll this one out. She does have lead jammer, can't call it off, but she'd rather pick up a five point grand slam and get a chance to do it again. 10 seconds left, the crowd's still going nuts. 185 to 30. Another scoring pass for Ohio. The crowd going Back wild. Smacktivist gets low, down and around. Go, or Ruth Adesia calls it off, and this place is going nuts for Ohio. <laughs> they are taking down 187 on OHRG. Windy City 187, 135 for Ohio, but Ohio is so excited right now. The energy in this room is electric. It's like Nikola Tesla put up some strange device <laughs> in this building. And uh, congratulations to Windy City Rollers, still undefeated, moving on. They're going to play tomorrow at 6 against the winner of Naptown, Minnesota, coming up next. And, of course, Ohio still with a chance to go to the WFTA Championships down in Hotlanta. They're going to play the loser of the next game. Later on tonight, we've still got Bruce City versus Arch Rival in the bracket for fifth place. And on the other end of that one, Mad Roland Dows versus Detroit Mumbles. I, I feel like I, it's, it's almost like in this venue it's almost like Ohio won that one as the entire crowd is chanting Ohio definitely chanting Ohio and it is nuts here they come consolation round to slap some hands oh man what a game you've got to give it to Ohio we were talking about Cinderella yeah they couldn't take down the monster but that's not the same fairy tale my friend they gave it a huge fight there as you see them taking their their victory lap 187 to 135 in favor of Windy City that's right, and these bells could still go to the ball. We'll find out tomorrow. John Maddening here with Phoenix Buns from a very, very, very close second. I mean, have you ever, ever been this happy about a 52-point loss? Uh, well, it's kind of one of the first times <laughs> I've been involved in a loss this year, but um, it was an amazing game for all of us. We're super proud. We're just happy to be here and to be competitive and to be competing with every team in the region. For us, that's the great capstone to an amazing season. Yeah, you guys have just kind of, I don't want to say came out of nowhere, but you you just played a lot this season. How many games did you play this? This was our 23rd, so 20, we're now uh, yeah. 22, 21 and 2, or 22 and 2, I think, actually. So 24 games. That's acceptable, I'd say. <laughs> I, I think so. It was All right. a good standard for the year. All right, so next game's going to decide who, you, who takes on less. You're still in it. You still have a chance. Yeah. The worst you can do is fourth. Yeah, I mean, and that was our goal coming in, was to finish better than we came in. So right on. we accomplished that yesterday, so we're pretty stoked. I mean, and, and you're coming in here, and you did what very few teams in the Nora Central have done, is make Windy City scared. <laughs> yeah, and, we kind of love that moment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it's fantastic. You guys have either Minnesota or Naptown. How do you prepare for two te different teams that play kind of a different style of derby? I don't think we can prepare, uh, prepare for either team. We prepare the way we play, the way we have all year. We play our game, we're very set on a fast game um, and adapting, we're flexible. We have a lot of people that play a lot of positions. So we're just kind of ready for whatever comes our way. All right, thanks folks, Phoenix Buns. Congratulations <laughs> thanks, and good John. luck tomorrow. Thank you so much.